All right, welcome everybody to the Morning Team Call. If you're just joining us, we have about 44 participants on the line. Again, this is your host, Avi Kaushik. And, you know, let's get this number bumped up. Let's start inviting our teammates to this call because we are lucky enough to have our speaker for today, Mr. Dane Clark. Now, if you are new to the call or you don't know Dane's story, back in the day, you know, Dane actually got started working on a farm, milking cows. And as he got older, you know, he took you know, followed the footsteps of his father becoming a roofer. And, uh, and shortly after that started working for the Apple store. Now, <clears throat> when he when when Dane was at the Apple store, he wasn't the extroverted guy in the front greeting everyone. He was more of the shy guy in the back, counting inventory, trying to avoid people. And, you know, he knew that if he ever wanted to treat, achieve greatness in life, he had to really push himself outside of his comfort zone, start talking to more people, start networking. And uh, around this time, he also started looking for other income generation opportunities because he found that what he was doing wasn't working for him. He was lucky enough to find Renatus through someone who was working at the Apple store and plugged into the Renatus system right away and started listening to his mentors. He really plugged into the system, you know, applied the velocity banking to pay down his education debt and, um, started doing real estate transactions. If we fast forward to today, Dane has now raised over $6 million from investors to lend on various real estate transactions. He has grown his team around the country. He is a pit team member. He is recognized by Bob Snyder as a key leader in our community. So we're just very fortunate to have Dane as our presenter here today. So without further ado, I'd like to bring Dane Clark on the line. So good morning, Dane. How is it going today for you? Good morning, Abby. It's going wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. And thank you for being on this call today to share the lessons that you have learned along the way. Awesome. 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 All right. Let's, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Let's see. And share. Oh. Zoom share broadcast. Cool. Good morning, everybody. I'm super excited to be here today. I, uh, today, it's a, it's a Utah holiday, but uh, for, for those of you who are not in Utah, what, what, uh, what today is called Pioneer Day. So basically, all the people that decided they wanted to walk from like Illinois to Utah back before cars and everything like that were, were, were created. So literally walk to Utah on not even a dirt road, but, but but move their families and all that kind of stuff. Blood, I mean, blood in the snow, I mean, sweat, tears, people dying. So Utah, Utah celebrates today uh, for, the, for the day that they arrived here in Utah and said, let's do it. Let's turn this desert into something gorgeous and, and, and to what, you know, you see Utah Salt Lake City is today. But uh, so I've got a couple of things that I would love to talk about today. And to just set the, set the stage, um, can you see my screen okay? By chance, just to, I just want to make sure that. Let's see. Go back, back. Oh, Abby or somebody like that. You guys, you know, somebody want to confirm? Make sure that my, my yes. screen share is doing the right Where thing. Can you see the screen. Okay, cool. Oh, let's do this. Okay, cool. So. If you guys have seen me talk about the my four boxes, so the people that I talk to, every single human being has a relationship to real estate. So if I just kind of go through that really, really quickly, there's one that I want to hone in on today that, that if you do it right, you could turn this into a gold mine. And, and I've done this myself. I have enough stories uh, or I have heard of other people's stories enough times to to be worth talking about so if uh, just to catch you guys up the four boxes first passive investor when people share passion in real estate investing but but they don't really have time they do have money and as as you and the way you find that is you ask people questions and and i've i've uh, over time i've, I've kind of changed this so so when I, when I say ask questions, you're asking questions for 
people. Okay, so step one, and F stands for family. So F stands for family. O stands for occupation. R stands for recreation. Recreation. Sometimes I like to to add the recreation one. Like, hey, other than work, what are you most passionate about? Okay, um, I love Woody's Woody's uh, uh, question there. But anyway, so you ask questions for people using these categories, and then as they're telling you and they say something that uh, that you're like, hey, I could tie this into real estate. You say, oh my gosh. Have you ever considered getting involved in real estate investing or, or, oh my gosh, I just caught, I just, I just started getting involved in real estate. I still say this. I mean, I've been doing this for three years and I'll still be like, oh my gosh, I just got started getting involved in real estate investing, you know, because of like the thing that you just said that you're passionate about or, or that you work or family, okay, kids, you know, you got kids or the job is, um, if people's job is going really well, I say, dude, have you ever considered getting involved in real estate investing? Okay, literally every single, the, every reason that they give me to get involved in real estate investing, if they hate their job, if they love their job, if they have no family, if they're a bachelor, if, if they're a bachelorette, if, uh, if they just had a kid or if they just found out they're having a kid, like every, seriously, every single thing they give me, I can say, oh my gosh, have you ever, have you ever considered getting involved in real estate investing? Anyway, so as you, as you follow that script, then people are going to start responding and you'll find out that people, people's relationship to real estate or the relationship they want with real estate is more of a passive approach, an active approach where the difference is they want to invest the commodity of time, whether they have money, don't have money, doesn't matter. Uh, they, they want to take an active approach, at analyzing deals, making offers, buying properties, essentially. Um, and so passive would be being like basically more like being a bank. Um, the I call the this third box survival mode with real estate. So these people are in a situation with their real estate. They need to unload it. So they they might have time, but they don't have money. Um, and and so because of that, you don't want their time because. If they had money, they wouldn't even be having this problem in the first place, but they need to unload their real estate. Um, and then the fourth box, and this is the one we're going to hone in on today, is the not interested box. So these are the people that when you start talking about real estate, they who cares if they have time? Who cares if they have money? They're not interested. So early on, um, or essentially in the very conversation, if they're not interested, essentially you just want to be like, yeah, you know, I get out of my face because if they don't share your passion real, with real estate and they're negative about it. So and in fact, I'm going to break this down into four categories. So, so you've got people that are just straight up downers. Okay. People that are not nice, that are not interested. Those are the ones that you're just like, you know what, get out of my face. Because they're, they're going to be the ones that suck you dry of motivation and passion and, and purpose in your real estate investing career. So with those people, you know what, just get out of my face. Like, I, I don't want to be around people that are negative, people that, you know, anything like that. So the, these are the ones that are that like, oh, yeah, I hope you have fun with that. Or, oh, you know, whatever. Those are the ones that you show them. The only thing that ever ever is going to come of this, and and I I would even I would even dare say don't even do this. But these are the ones that you show them your shut up checks. When you actually make your success in real estate, these are the ones that you'll send this to and be like, hey, look at this. I just made more money in a day than I made last year because we just closed this deal, you know, whatever it is. Okay. But there are more, there are more people that end up not being interested. So for example, um, I, I tell the story about one of my first guys that I ever talked to. His name was Robert. And, uh, I hear some background noise here. Let's, let's, uh, mute everybody. Um, okay. So I, uh, some people, 
like Robert, for example, they would have been a passive investor. You know, he was very, very interested. And if you haven't heard the story, just really, really briefly, I, I met a guy named Robert. And, uh, and Robert was interested in being a passive investor. And, and so we started talking about that. And I, and I mean, we even met up, I took him to lunch. And, and because originally he told me, he's like, yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to get into real estate. I don't have a lot of time, very busy guy. I, he's an oral surgeon, so he works on people's mouths all day. And, you know, he makes almost, almost $200,000 a year, but he's, he's strapped for time. And so he's, he tells me, yeah, I've always wanted to get into real estate. In fact, I did, I did, and I lost some money once uh, because I didn't know what I was doing. And so I met with him. We talked about it. And, and in fact, I was even showing him a very deal that I had on the table that I was meeting with another guy that we could solve his problem. And he's, he's excited. He's excited. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let me run, let me run this stuff by my financial planner. And I, I knew at that moment that th there might be a deal breaker, but, but you don't want to like be like, no, 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 don't talk to your financial planner, you know, cause then it's autumn. That's an automatic. No. So I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk to him, talk to him. I guarantee there's going to be big questions. So, so talk to me, but, but anyway, Financial planner ends up not liking me because here I am, this guy that's investing in real estate telling Robert like, Hey, take your money away from your financial planner and let you and I do some real estate deals together. And so guess who doesn't like Dane, <laughs> the financial planner. So because he's not, he, essentially I'm pulling money out of his pocket I'm, I'm decreasing his paycheck to take home and provide for his family, you know, or, or essentially that's what's going to happen if, if Robert does deals with me, uh, because he, the only way the financial planner makes money is if, if Robert has his money with him. So, so at the end of the day, Robert calls me back and says, Hey man, my financial planner brought up all these red flags and, and this and that, and, and told me that I shouldn't do real estate deals like this. And, and, and all this stuff and bring he you know, he brought up all kinds of really stupid things that I, you know, e even though I had an answer for, he trusts his financial planner. And so long story short, Robert goes in my not interested box, but he was interested. Okay. So that's, this is the key. And so I want to talk about the history over time as, as I would do uh, as I would get results in real estate, as I, as I was, was taking action, analyzing deals, I would actually send, I would send Robert deals, whether it was myself that was, whether it was myself that was, uh, doing the deals, or if I was sending other people's deals, it didn't matter. I would make sure I sent him a deal and say, Hey, we're doing another one. Hey, we're doing another one. So and that's, that's basically what I would do every time. Okay. I would, I would do this some, sometimes every month, maybe every other month, but I just made sure that because Robert was, was, he started out interested and we met up, I would send him a deal on either every month or every other month. And just and just tell him, hey, we're doing another one, doing another one, okay. And then and then then if you guys you guys have maybe heard the story, Robert calls me like a year later, and and eventually I, I slowed down a little bit, and I, I I realized that that was a mistake, but but I slowed down a little bit, and so Robert calls me after I hadn't talked to him for maybe two or three months, or sent him a deal, and he says, Dane, are, are you are you still doing that? Uh, that real estate thing, you know, that you've been sending me, you know, it sounds like you had a bunch of success. Like, are you still doing that? And I was able to be like, yes, actually I am. I'm doing, I'm killing it, man. I mean, I'm, right now, I want you to take just a, a quick moment and think about yourself. If, if you were to stay very focused and apply the principles of success that you learn, by I mean, just hanging around people in Renatus, but as you learn from your classes, as you as you get on calls like this, I mean, I, when I was new, these calls were like motivation in a and just packed in a little ribbon of of 
getting excited to just start working on my purpose of, of what I wanted to do. So anyway, so imagine if you stay focused for one year, like laser focus, even if all you had was 10 hours a week, like I had, and you had to still work your day job and, uh, and just do this on the side nights and weekend style. And, and so again, imagine you sit, you stay focused for one year, taking action, getting out of your comfort zone. And Robert asks you that same question. Hey, let's see. I mean, let me actually go to, to some people here. So I don't have, let's see, the phone numbers, I don't have names. Um, uh, let's see, Abu, Abu Baker. Abu Baker. Hey, man, you still doing that real estate thing? Imagine he asks you that question. Adrienne, Alan, Alvin, Andrew, Ann, Anissa, uh, Ar Araceli, Arliss. Ashley, Becky, okay, all these people, Bill, Brian, Brian, imagine, and, and I'm so sorry, I'm just going on, I'm just going, uh, you only, you only benefit if you have an A name or a B name, okay, Teresa, Sandra, Victoria, Tyler, Tony, Teresa, Tammy, uh, Sucrete, Sue, or imagine you stay focused for a whole year and somebody asks you that same question, hey, are you still doing that real estate thing? And then you get to say, I mean, you get to brag at this point, okay? So that's what Robert did to me. Dang, you're still doing that. And at the end of the day, he, he, you know, I was able to tell him, yes, I'm still doing stuff. But, and then he also came back and said, Dane, I, in the last year, I actually lost my shirt. Because when my financial planner told me about this opportunity, when I was, when I was actually looking at your deal, my financial planner said, oh, you don't want to do that real estate thing, but you should invest in this thing, you know, because he's looking for an opportunity. So financial planner's smart and says, hey, let me show you something better. So anyway, he invests in this thing his financial planner has and he loses money. He loses a lot of money. And so when Robert called me back and asked if I'm still doing it, he says, Dane, I lost a lot of money. Is there any chance that you could still help me out? And I, I have $90,000 left. Can you help me find a real estate deal? I, I, I see now that I should have gotten involved with you, a, you know, over a year ago, but I didn't. Okay. So that's the first type of person. The, and and you've, you guys have always heard the fortune is in the follow-up. So essentially, the, the way to follow up is you just send them a deal and say, we're doing another one, you know, hey, hey, my team's doing another one, or, you know, it doesn't matter if it's your deal, their deal, uh, somebody, somebody, somebody's deal in your community, somebody, you know, a story that you hear, um, you know, maybe you go to nationals, and you get out, you gather all these stories of other people, and other people's deals, and things, and things that they're doing, and so you line out your whole year of just deals that you can send people, okay, stories, essentially, okay, okay so second, Second type of person that the or th sorry third type of person that runs into uh, uh, the the not interested box and this is you guessed it the active investors yeah so people that came down and looked at Renatas people that came down and, and said said yeah yeah I've always wanted to get into real estate I've always wanted to buy property or flip a house or get a rental property or own storage units or or buy a commercial property you know whatever it is I've always wanted to develop a subdivision. Or, or you know anything okay and and so those are the ones that would be awesome Renata students because they have that ambition they want to do that and if they pair their ambition with the Renata's education and the Renata's community communities spread across the nation then they're going to be a lot more effective in in their real their real estate investing career I mean it, it's I mean, it's proven it doesn't matter who you are where you come from if you if you supply yourself with a Renatus education and the community, you will be more effective than not. Even if people still have success, I mean, I mean, I I know a guy, and actually this is the very thing that I do. We just had somebody join a year ago, and the I mean the dude flipped a hundred houses already. He had already flipped a hundred homes, and 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 essentially done a hundred deals, and then he came down and he saw Renatus. And he goes, man, there is something here. Had I, had I bought this 
before I got started in real estate, I'd be a lot farther than I am now. He'd done a hundred deals. And those words left his mouth. And, and so he buys or not us. And, and he, and he starts watching education and learning and plugging in, in his local community. He did more deals that year after joining Renatus than he had ever done in a year prior, just because he accompanied his, wherever he was with Renatus education and, and uh, the communities. Okay. And so what, here, here's what you, here's what I've done with these people that has turned into an absolute gold mine for me. So I, uh, uh, what I ended up doing or what I ended up, what I, what I do with these people is you still reach out to them, but here's how you do it. Cause if somebody comes down to, to see the education and, and they end up not being interested, then you gotta be a little bit, you gotta be kind of careful, right? You could send them deals and that, that works fine too. You know, Hey, we're doing another one. But, but if you make it not about them, here's the key. Yeah, so I'm going to give you a script of the reason that you can reach out to people that, that uh, makes it very disarming and actually just builds your credibility with these people, okay? So, so and I got a bunch of stories, but, but let, me, let me share the script, okay? So essentially it is this and i'm actually going to just type this out because this will be a little bit easier if people want to if you people want to share um or take screenshots or i'll even type it in the chat um but let's do this so essentially i pull up my texting text message here or not text but uh let's do this all right there we go so essentially the script is this you call them or you text them and you say hey Oh, let me zoom in. You say, hey, I know you weren't, uh, let's see. I know, let's see, uh, sorry, let me back up. I know when we chatted about real estate last month, or yeah, I actually do this, let me do this every single month, okay? When we chatted about real estate last month, it it didn't seem like it was something that that you were interested in so in other words you acknowledge their decision at the time that back then they weren't really interested so you see it you know, so you say it just like that hey i know i know we chatted about real estate last month and it didn't really seem like that was something that you were interested but then you get to this now this is how things get interesting and you say you just, you just say, we just had a guy or a gal, oops, had a gal or a guy, and then you just tell a story. So like just the one that I just told, we just had, we just had a gal, uh, and this is a true story, we just had a gal join with us. She was a single mom of three children, and 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 she was really really worried you know so so really really worried that she wasn't going to be able to watch her kids put food on the table and make you know make some success in real estate but she got after it and dude she started making more money in a month than she was making in a year and she only she did this in 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 just the last year right so you tell that story we just had a guy or a gal and you tell the story, then, and again, you don't, you don't make this about them. Okay. You basically want to, to say, Hey, I've, I've, uh, written, not, not written you off, but essentially you just say, Hey, I'm not trying to target you because I recognize that you weren't interested a month ago. Okay. So we just had a guy or gal do this. And then you say, you say, hey, you don't, you don't know anyone that, that does, and again, and so here you'll insert something that they can actually relate to, you know, maybe, maybe they are uh, a construction worker, maybe they work in schools, maybe they work in, you know, whatever it is, that does, and I'm going to say, and you're going to insert 
their profession. And it, it even works way cooler if you if you insert their profession here, but but you don't have to get that crazy. Um, but uh, but anyway, you don't you don't know anyone that does their profession that would be interested in doing that, would you? So in other words, in other words, maybe you know profession or situation. Maybe you maybe you have that friend that is a single mom, single dad, or whatever, and they can relate to this person's story that you just told. And so they, hey, and so you say, hey, hey, you don't you don't know anybody that is a single mom that's interested in making extra income like that on the side. Do, you know, would you? Do you? Or or maybe maybe like the story that I just told about the gentleman that that had already done a hundred a hundred deals. So you say stuff like like, hey, you don't you don't happen to know anybody. That and, and the person that you're calling, the reason they weren't interested is because they're like, oh, I'm already doing deals. I don't need, I don't need Renatus. I'm already, I'm already doing deals. I'm already successful. All right. So you call that person up and say, hey, hey, I know, I know we chatted uh, last month, and, and it didn't really seem like it was, you know, you know, it was your thing to to expand your real estate investing career. You know, work, working along people like me and, and, and us. But we just had a guy, and you tell that story. You know, used to do a hundred deals, did more deals in a month or in a year after joining us than he ever has in his previous, because he aligned himself with, com with community and, and was open to learning something new. Hey, you don't happen to know any other investors that want to take their business to the next level like that, do you? Okay. And so, you, so again, you just make it not about them and they might actually send you a referral. Because if you tell a story like that and you tell, and I mean, it's true, they can't argue with you. It's the coolest thing ever. They can't be like, oh no, you know, like, uh, yeah, this really happened. I wouldn't be calling you and telling you just some bogus story, would I? You call me a liar? Like, no, no, no. They can't argue with you that that you're telling somebody else's story that they had success, right? Nobody can argue with that. Um, of of oh, this doesn't work, you know, whatever, right? Story, you can't argue with stories. Anyway, so you do that. Hey, and you do that every single month. Again, you go down to to you know a, a community meeting and you start meeting people you start hearing their stories people that are local people and and or you get on these calls or whatever and you and you share stories like that and you and you you call people i mean literally you could do this every single month and and it wouldn't it wouldn't be you know people wouldn't get mad at you because you're just telling a story and an inspiring story right and asking for referrals so either one Here's what happens, and I've had both these. I've had both of these things happen to me. Okay, the first thing that might happen is, let's say you call somebody, and you do this for like three months, four months, five months, where you just call them up. They, you know, they came down to a meeting, they saw Renata, they said, "No, I'm not. That's not really my thing." And and you call them back every single month, and you say, "Hey, we just had a guy," and you tell a story. You wouldn't happen to know anybody that would be interested in doing that, right? So, so literally have had people say, you know what, you are the best, you are the best uh, person at follow-up that I have ever met. <laughs> and, and they are not angry about that, that you've been following up with them. Yeah. And so, and so you'll, you'll, you'll probably hear things like that, but you'll also be like, you know what, a lot has happened in the last, you know, three, four months, you know, as, as you've been updating, I'm actually ready. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. So that's one thing that could happen over time. The other thing that could happen is they'll be like, you know what? And I've had literally had this happen to me. And so people are like, you know what? I actually know a guy. I actually, you know, I, I met somebody that we were talking about real estate. You know, I remember kind of thinking about your name. I was like, oh man, you could probably, you know, I even told him, I know a guy um, or a gal that, that, that you might be interested in, but you know, but I, I never made the connection. I'm, dude, and so they'll send you a referral over time. So literally every, every track, 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 every people, every person that you talk to track where they're at, what their relationship with real estate is. Okay. So if I, if I show you my own system, look at this. So I track my non-interested people. If I go to my own list of opportunity here, here's all the people I'm talking to currently. If I track, I, I literally just put Luke in my in my not interested box, 
because you know he you know he saw the meeting he, he did the stuff he saw i mean he even saw velocity banking it was like oh my gosh that could apply to me like today right and he and he you know he got the renatus uh, uh velocity banking app he ran some numbers and he's like oh my gosh this is crazy but at the end of the day he's like ah oh, man my wife and i we just I'm working full time. I'm really trying to advance in my career. Like now is just not the time. So I asked him, I asked him, I said, Hey, are you cool if I follow up every once in a while? And, and he goes, yeah, yeah, totally. And, and you know what, if I think of anybody that, that wants to get into real estate, dude, I'm going to call you and, and, and tell, and tell that person, like he already told me here, he gave me permission. Okay. And so, and so essentially I'm going to do this with Luke. I'm going to call him every month and say, and tell him some story of uh so luke is a, is he works uh he's a manager at uh at a dealership that sells trailers so i'm basically just going to call him and tell him stories about people that um have never done a deal and did their first deal because he's going to relate i'm going to call him and tell him about people that i've met that were in the sales industry and did their first deal or second deal or you know whatever and and converted their lifestyle okay so anyway here, here, here's how I track my people. My fives, my fives are ones that I want to be keeping. I want to keep on reaching out to because they came down to a meeting and then became not interested. And then my sixes down here that I that I put, these are the ones that, are, that were not like the nicest or they just you know kind of negative. And I just didn't. I don't want to. I don't want to reach out to them. Okay. So the last. Oops. Let me come back. Next. Next and last one, and then we'll wrap it up. So the uh, even the people that you meet with or that have a deal that want that they want to sell you or that they might be able to sell you because they're in foreclosure or you know whatever right a motivated seller and you make them the offer and they say no you do the same thing this one you might want to do like every couple of weeks because here's what happens when somebody oops oh and here let me let me text this script into the to the chat here just in case anybody wants it uh, paste just in case anybody wants that script for people that are were, would be active investors um okay so back over here uh let's go to the next type of not interested and the people that would be selling you their deal Okay, so survival mode. Survival mode. Okay, so I've met with people and, and made offers on their homes. People that were going through foreclosure, people that, that had uh, their, their husband go to jail and so they can't make the payments anymore and they're a little worried, they need to move, okay? And they ended up saying, no, oh, no, you know what, Dane, I, I don't, I, I, I wanna list it. I wanna put it on the MLS and, and see what my options are. Like, you know, thank you for making me the offer. But I, I just want to see, I want to see what, what my uh, options are. Okay? If you follow up with those people and same thing and just say, you know, every couple of weeks and just say, hey, I'm just checking in and, and seeing how things are going. And, and you know, how's, how's, the, um, how's the MLS treating you or how, how's listing your house treating you? Okay? That's, that's my favorite thing. Essentially, whatever it is that they ended up trying to do, you follow up and say, how's Whoops, house starts with an H. How's blank treating you? And then you just offer uh, any help, okay? Anything I can do. Anything I can do for you today? And so anything I do for you today, today, and you just keep, you know, basically just the fact that you called them, that you expressed the concern and just said, Hey, I, I, I was thinking about you. I was just curious, you know, how, how's it, how's it treating you? You know, are you, or have you been able to, to make any progress towards getting yourself into a better situation or anything like that? Okay. And so, um, you just do that over and over and over again. And wow, man, people will just, your name will go up in, in priority or, or, or even just ugh, people will love you. 
because you you prove to them that you care as you do stuff like this, okay? So this is how you turn this not interested box into a gold mine by just calling them up and and I mean, oftentimes it doesn't even matter what you say. Obviously, if you try to hard sell them, you're gonna make people angry. But But if you call them up and just let them know that you're still in the game and you still care and you were thinking about them, I mean, over time, I mean, you, you are going to turn your not interested box into a gold mine. I mean, if I, if I were to guess, I have talked to a total, you know, across all my boxes, I probably talked to three, 400 people. I don't know, maybe 500 people. And 300 of those are in my not interested box. And if I take that even further, I probably have half of them here. Half of them were just like, you know, people I don't even, I'm probably not even half actually, but let's just go with half. But, but half of those were just like, eh, they were negative. I, you know, I, I, and, and they're spreading negative energy. And I was just like, you know, I get out of my face. But the rest of them, I mean, dude, life, if they're not interested in real estate investing over here on this side of the box, on active or passive, I mean, life is going to slap them in the face a little bit. So, so just by following up and letting them know that you still exist in the real estate world, I mean, people are going to call you with deals. People are going to call you back and say, I'm ready. Let's do this. I want, you know, here's my $20,000 or help me find it. I don't care how, but help me find it and we'll, and we'll get going. Or they'll be like, Hey, remember, remember when you said, uh, you were supplying deals and, and helping people that want to put park their money in real estate instead of stock market. I, I'm ready. Right. Those are literally words that have fell out of, fell out of people's mouths and into my ears by just following up over time. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. It looks like I had a couple of chats in here. Um, let's see, Corey, we are so fortunate that our FP encourages us to diversify and invest in real estate. It's because, of, it's because of him that we purchased our education and he looks into the legalities of, of him promoting real estate investing as part of his practice and he's committed to the group of combo. Cool. Good job, Corey. What does the zero stand for? Adrian, what does the zero stand for? Uh, zero, zero, zero. I'm not sure what you're talking about. What does the zero stand for? I am not sure what you are referring to. Adrian, can you clarify what you mean by that? Oh, the O in four is, <laughs> sorry, I, I, sorry, I read that as a zero. It stands for occupation. <laughs> so family, occupation, recreation. And, and in the recreation, you can basically say, hey, other than work, what are you most passionate about? Yeah, people love, people love answering that question. So ask questions for them, not for you. Family, occupation, recreation. And then you can tie that into, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they say. All right, kids, no kids, family, no family, bachelor, bachelorette. Uh, occupation, if they have a job, if they, if they just started a job, if they've been with a job, if they love their job, if they hate their job. Right, recreation. If they like doing this, if they like doing that, if they like doing it in high of ele high elevations, or if they like doing it in the water in the snow, like if if they like to do it from home, if, it doesn't matter. Whatever they say, you'd be like, oh my gosh, have you ever considered getting involved in real estate investing? And then you'll find out very quickly which box that person is in, of either what relationship they already have with real estate or what they want their relationship to real estate to be. So cool. Happy 24th of July, everybody. Stay classy. Let me just make sure I don't have any more chats here. Um, so in, in the, so Tony, the acronym form, M stands for money. But for some reason, I've never actually had anybody that, that liked me just talking about money, unless they're a part of Renatus. <laughs> If, they're already, if they are already a part of Renata, oh man, people love to talk money. But so I've, I've taken that one off because I, I mean, I, I haven't necessarily had good response from that 
from the M. The, the, so I turned the acronym to four and just said, ask questions for people. Their family, their occupation, their recreation, passions outside of work. So, all right, guys, stay classy. So, uh, so happy to, uh, to share today. I would love to hear any, any uh, d uh, stories, guys. I want stories. So uh, tell me stories. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear them. So let's see. Tyler, Dana just found out my cousin doing fix and flips. He's a contractor and does the work himself. How do you like to talk to people like that? Um, I, I just like to ask them if, if they're hungry. Okay? The only reason somebody joins Renatus is if they're hungry. If you take somebody that's done 100 deals, and show them Renatus, either, either they're going to be like, I know, I already know all of this, or they're going to be like, cool, I'm ready for the next level. So basically, you just want to find out if he's hungry. If he's hungry, so you know, you, yeah, you start at, you know, again, you start asking those questions. Um, and, you know, if you already know he does real estate, then you just start telling him like, dude, I'm getting into real estate, man. Like, and you start talking about stuff and, and then you just start telling them like, you know, stories of, of people like, yeah, I just met a guy and, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then find, and, and just ask him, so, so what do you want? Like, do you want to just, you know, do you like what you're doing or do you want to scale it? Like, what's the next level for you? And so if you start asking him and just find out, is he hungry? That's going to be your best, your best bet. Cause if he's not hungry, there's not a lot that we can do for him. It would be just preaching to the choir. Um, but, but that's, that's going to be your next course of action. And if he's hungry, say, cool, I got some people I want you to meet. And then you can bring them down to like a community event or a house tour or something like that. And, and just start telling those types of stories. Like, yeah, I just met a guy that was already doing deals and, he, and, and, and he, he plugged into, to what we got going down here and, and he's just blowing it up. Right. So, so I would do stuff like that or, or, you know, work, work to his, you know, work to his situation and say, yeah, I just met a guy that he, you know, he was doing all his own work and, and, but now he's taking it and he's scaling because he knows what he's doing now. And so he can build a system and just talk about how, he, how people are building the system of not having to do their own work and do multiple deals at a time. Right? I mean, talk about like Matt Nelson. I mean, that, that guy's doing multiple deals at a time now. And he doesn't do his own work. Um, anyway, so great, great question, Tyler. Stay classy, everybody. I'll see y'all next week.